is Whitney and I want to thank you so much for clicking on my video. Your view and your support always means the world to me. It is currently Monday morning. It's beautiful outside. The sun is shining. Um, every three months I go to my pulmonologist at the CF clinic because I have cystic fibrosis. There is some really exciting news that just came out. I believe it was one or two weeks ago about a new drug to treat my disease so I'm definitely going to speak to the doctor about that but I just figured I'd take you guys along with me so come on let's go go to the doctor with me <laughs> same level as okay for the normal fast deep breath blast it out push push we'll go at least three times to get through the match okay Whitney's going to begin a pulmonary lung function test to see if uh, see how much air is in her lungs and see where she's at at her pulmonary lung function test. 84 last time, right? Yep. <coughs> Here we go. All right, what are you doing? Breathing normal. Take that big deep breath. Push, 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 Breath. Boom. Keep going. You push, push, push. Just three more seconds. Two, one, in. Got it. Here's the chart that they use to read how our lungs are doing. 87. 87, that's good. Let me try to quick note. You just catch your breath. Sorry. They're now beginning to assess and look at things. You're all serious, Pamela. <laughs> well, we want this to be a serious video because people can learn from this about your life and others with cystic fibrosis. Yep. Don't want it. Just going to begin again. Pretty normal. Deep breath. Keep going. Push, push, push. Deep breath. Nothing. So now we're just waiting for everyone to come in and out. I always see like a whole team of specialists. The dietitian, my social worker, my pulmonologist, my nurse, uh, PFTs, you know, uh, and all that. Right now, we're going to eat. We got little snacks. My mom, she got a peanut butter and jelly at Panera. And, of course, I'm unhealthy, and I got these chips and a Diet Yogurt. Coke. Yogurt. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's always a long day whenever we come here because we're here normally for... How many hours? Like four hours, four or five hours. So, so my mom is waving to this construction worker out here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see him. He's going down. Did he see you? No. Darn. He's going bye bye. He's been extra careful. So I know that some of you all that watch my videos do have compromised immune systems and different diseases. I completely recommend these VOG masks, um, V-O-G mask. Um, there is promo codes on the internet. I believe I got this around $25 and it's washable and stuff and it's really nice and I always take that anytime I go to the doctor. But watch the sizing. I, I'm a really small person I, and I had to get the medium and it barely fits my face. But yeah. It has like a little filter and everything. It's great for going to the doctor or exploring or anything like that. Completely recommend it. 
so the last person that I need to see is the doctor and um, he'll be in here any minute but I'm going to ask you about Syndico which is a new drug out for CF and it corrects the bad gene in the body that causes CF so it treats the underlying cause and I'm going to ask him about like is this something that is an option for me because it's not an option for everyone you have to have like certain gene mutations to be able to even take this drug um, when you have cystic fibrosis everyone has like different genes um, in their body and so we're just going to talk about that and see I do know that it's going to be super expensive I believe that it's around like $250,000 a year to even take this drug. I did take Orcambi and it didn't work out for me. It messed with my hormones. So um, I was kind of asking around and they said this will not mess with my hormones at all. So that's definitely a plus. So here's the view outside. So pretty. It's a beautiful day. You guys see right there that building? That's an abandoned um, factory. I've actually been there and I have a video on it, but I didn't get to explore that much. I do want to come back. So I'm back from the doctor and Bubba missed his mama, didn't you? Bubba, you guys, he was just talking. He knows how to say I love you, just like a husky. But I'm a chihuahua, right? Right, Bubs? See you guys, he smiles. Smile. Look at you. Yeah, smile at all my subscribers, Bubba's. He's sm he's actually looking at my mom right now and doing that. Mm -hmm. He always Is smiles at us. Is that my belly? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do any of you all's dogs know how to smile? Let me know down below. Okay, so I never did in my video about going to the doctor and everything. I did talk to my doctor. I'm not going to start the medicine right now. I just kind of want to see how others do on it. And uh, I'm just doing so, so well that I don't feel like I absolutely need it. It is very expensive. Uh, the copays would be very high. And because I'm doing so well, you know, it's just not a necessity right now. I probably will in the future. And if I do, I will definitely do more videos about it. But, uh... Yeah, it was a really good visit. My PFTs are doing really well, but I did get a culture back three days later, and I'm growing pseudomonas on my lungs. So, it's not like a bad lung infection, but I went ahead and started antibiotics just to nip it in the bud. And uh, I'm on Tobramycin and Zebro. And it's tearing up my stomach, but I'll live. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture or videos of um, an abandoned railroad building it was it was right next to a railroad I'm not sure what it was used for it's kind of too small for a station but uh, I will insert that clip right now oh, I didn't do anything. the great ruins in Louisville is a good spot if you want to do like a combined a few abandoned places is that the turlet <laughs> it's a turlet yay look here this looks like a slaughterhouse or something wow this just looks like something horrible happened here. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.